one of the most important highest performance fiber is carbon fiber and it is first it was first discovered in 1879 by swan and edison and they used they were used a carbonized cotton yarn filament for electric lamp and after several decades the carbon fibers were not on priority for the research purpose or for the any high technical and specific applications but in 1950s and 60s the few of the research groups from us japan and england they were try to manufacture or to produce the lightweight reinforced composites for their space research programs and start to work on the carbon fibers in the early work of their research they were used the viscous rayon and polyacrylonitrile uh, one of the most common commodity fiber acrylic were used as a precursor material these precursor materials were treated at high temperatures with three different approaches three different stages one is oxidative stabilization second is carbonization and third stage is graphitization oxidative stabilization is carried out at 300 to 400 degree centigrade in presence of air and during this the small vol sm small volatile volatile fragments is evolved in second during carbonization process which is carried out at much higher temperature about start temperature is 600 to 1500 degree means the temperature is raises in increasing order slightly at a slow rate and during this many of the small volatile fragments get evolved and some graphitic graphitic structure start to evolve start to form and in last carbonization which is uh, sorry graphitization which is carried out at much higher temperature about 2000 degree centigrade and the temperature is raised to the level of 2500 2700 and above that and during this graphitization a true graphitic structure can be achieved and thus the carbon fiber produced by these precursor material is possesses the very high strength and high modulus now the high strength fiber carbon high strength carbon fiber is first produced by using the viscous rayon as a precursor did not got get success because of the some process difficulties involved in the production of carbon fibers from viscous rayon during the particularly during the oxidative stabilization and carbonization of the viscous fiber the original orientation of the viscous rayon fiber get lost because of the shrinkage occurs during the process and to avoid this shrinkage the stretching is applied at much higher temperature during the graphitization uh, and graphitization 
but the process uh, involve many difficulties because a high tension is needed to avoid any to avoid any uh, disorientation but the many of the problems involved during this process so that nowadays the use of viscous rayon as a precursor for carbon fiber manufacturing is not in use nowadays but the use of polyacrylonitrile based carbon fibers is now popular and for the purpose of um, the pain uh, acrylic fibers some highly oriented acrylic fibers are used as a precursor material it's a prerequisite you can see and for that purpose the first the oxidative stabilization is carried out which is carried out at about 200 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade temperature and during this air is remain present and the nitrile group which is highly polar in nature is present in at every carbon in the polymer structure of acrylic which is unique in the all commodity fibers this nitrile group get convert into the cyclic structure by dehydrogenation and during this dehydrogenation and cyclization some stable structure is achieved a ladder structure is formed and it is carried out by keeping some slightly tensioned condition or you can say the a controlled shrinkage is allowed so do not allow to disorient the original molecular structure then these oxidized or you can say the oxidative stabilized carbon uh, pain based carbon fiber uh, these fibers go for the carbonization and the carbonization is carried out at above 600 degree temperature and heating starts with a controlled tension and during this heating treatment first the small volatiles like hydrogen gas carbon dioxide gas carbon monoxide gas nitrogen start to evaporate and the cyclic structures start to convert in a graphitic structure and the temperature is raised up to the 1500 degree centigrade so most of the nitrogen is uh, hydrogen oxygen nitrogen get removed and this all this process is carried out in inert atmosphere then the carbonized or you can say the carbon fiber which is having not a perfect graphite structure is further treated for high te temperature treatment about 2000 degree centigrade then temperature is raised to 2700 degree centigrade in inert atmosphere and during this the most of the nitrogen almost complete nitrogen hydrogen oxygen get removed actually the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are already get removed and finally the nitrogen is also removed and now the true graphitic structure with the sheet like structure having
a perfect ring patterns with the parallel planes and these carbon atoms plane these carbon atom planes get not perfectly ordered but by slight tension condition and during the this during this graphitization process a complete layered structure with preferred orientation in the direction of fiber axis can be achieved and these fibers are having more than 99% carbon in their structure and such fibers are possessing very high strength high modulus and can be used for 